Okay, guys, do y'all know what we're getting today? Yes. What are we getting? Milk tea. No, y'all don't know what we're getting. <laughs> okay, we're going to the store, but what else do we have to get today? What are we gonna get from our friend? Do you know? Not, you don't know? No. You know? Chickies! Chickies! What kind of one? What do you mean, what kind of one? Oh, and you excited about some chickies? Yeah. What the chickies say? <laughs> That's a ducky. A chick says what, Edith? Chickies! Chirp, 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 chirp. You think they'll say chirp, chirp, chirp? Yes. Yeah. Let's see, everybody. They just say boop, boop, boop. Everybody say chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp. We are gonna get some new chicks. We have a lot of things that we need for them, like the feeder and the water, but we need to go get some actual food for them and some bedding. So we're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna get our new chicks. What do you think about chicks? Have you ever seen chicks? Oh, hello. Where are we? Tractor Supply Company. <laughs> Look at the chickies. What do you do? Do you like it too? There's a hard guy ride, huh? Chicka 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 Can you close it? No. Close it. Pull hard, two hands. Two, pull hard. Pull hard. Oh, oh, baby, got these chickies home. You helping me carry it, Maricelli? <laughs> you like the chickies? Oh, yeah. No, hold Jim, say hi. They're getting some food. It's not. I can play some, but I can see that they are so cute. This one's so, so, so big. Yes. Sleeping. Oh, I like. Oh, that was sleepy too. Oh, they're so comfortable with you guys. Look at that. Oh, he's asleep. They're both asleep. How'd you do that? Do y'all want to go to sleep too? Uh oh. What? Oh, is that your chickie? Oh, it did. It pooped? Yes. It pooped on my dress. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I've been on this list for like four years. And finally, it started actually like going through. And uh, you're just on this wait list. And you may or may not get it. But finally, I just saw the people drive by chip job. So they're going to give us some mm -hmm. chips from a tree for our garden. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. See if you can get to the top of it. Come to the top. Cheese! <laughs> okay, so it's like the coldest day in a long time here in Texas. Of course, we got those chips. And the first thing I'm going to do is scoop some of the stuff out of our 
chicken coop and replace it with those fresh wood chips because that stuff is like gold. This is our little chicken coop. It's nothing fancy. Also, you're not supposed to attach a chicken coop to a fence because then, I don't know, part of it falls down, you're in trouble. I changed my mind. I'm not digging stuff out of the coop. Sorry for the most boring video in the whole wide world, but it's fun for me. And I think this is gonna give us like the best chance of having a successful garden and a successful chicken coop and all that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the wheelbarrow and start bringing some loads back. Um, yeah, so let's see how much we can get moved. We were gonna go to Hobby Lobby today, but that's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead and do this. Last time we did this, I was like seven months pregnant. Got all this stuff moved. All right, let's get to it. See, you go climb the hill? Yeah. <gasps> go climb it. Come here. Come here, come climb it. Come climb it. What you doing? What you doing? Hi. Hey, you wanna go climb up the hill? Yeah. Climb it. Climb up. Can you climb up? No, not into the wheelbarrow. The hill. You ready? You gonna push it? Yeah. Push it. Push. Push. Can you do it? Oh, you're so strong. We got all these wood chips and I'm trying to let all the kids help do things just to get things done. Um, I've done this nice little path because it gets so muddy right here. And this home was a new build and they just put down a bunch of clay and so the clay, the grass on top of the clay all died, especially with having a few dogs. Um, so the kids are helping and I'm going to show you what they're doing. You got your boots. That's awful. And drying our tablecloth. Edie, what you doing? Are you helping? Mm -hmm. Mabel, what are you doing? So there's just some woods back there that nobody really owns. And <laughs> so they're trying to <laughs> help out by throwing these ginormous weeds over. Show Mabel that you help her. <laughs> this is quite the task for a little one. Good job. Y'all are doing a great job. This is Mr. Owen. Daddy says I go too easy on him. How old are you, Owen? Yeah. Two. Yeah. Hey, does mama love you? Yeah. You love me? Yeah. They love you, mama. I love you, Wait, look at me. Look at me. Owen. <laughs> right, so another area that I'm dumping these chips are over near the coop. Hold on. What? Wait, um, Wait for you. Can you say I love you, Mama? I love you, Mama. I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Isadora. What are you doing? How many buckets have you loaded up? Maybe 12. 12? Oh, that's a good number. I'm sorry, you got poked in the eye. Or maybe 20. Or maybe how many? 20. Come okay, go check out your work, okay? Mama. All right, so we have this weird grass. Oh man, this grass is so strange, guys. It looks like... It keeps getting you. It looks like blood. And it's just the way the plant is, I guess. But I ran into it the other day. And I was like, oh my goodness. The bird got shot. But look, it looks super bloody. And it just kind of spreads out gently. I think it's a type of reed. But it's weird. It's not. It's just the plant. That's what my sister's like. Blood. It looks like blood. All right, so I got all this. I'm trying to back it up against this coop because I don't know. I'm gonna go see how good you've done. Oh, she's gone above and beyond. Here's our coop. It's pretty spacious. I've got this for them to perch on and some ladders for them to climb on. No birds have been in here for a little while. Look, Mama. What am I looking at? Wow, that looks good. 
you're doing a very good job and you're getting all the holes that's so great I don't know if I told you all the story about our our chickens but um we'd had chickens in this coop for like a year and a half and our dog <laughs> slipped outside at night and she started like barking at night a lot and our house is made of paper so she started barking at night and we just couldn't put up with it anymore so we started making her an inside dog at night to get hurt I'm sorry so we started bringing her in and then one day we let her out and the girls came running in because I asked them to go send the compost outside they come running in saying there's a dead chicken and there's a dead chicken over by our air conditioning which is next to the house and the coop here I can't show you the mess the coop is nowhere near the air conditioning so I'm like ding dog killed that chicken and drug it all the way over to the coop or all the way over to the air conditioning and and so I'm super upset she killed I go out there there's a hole in the fence for the chicken coop and like three dead chickens we had six at the time so two dead in there three still alive and one over by the air conditioning and so I'm like super upset. I go out there, I reinforce the whole thing, check over the chickens, take the dead ones out. And then a day passes and I go back out there and two more of the chickens are dead. So I'm thinking she must have gotten them worse than I thought. And you know, they just, they just ended up succumbing to their injuries. But, um, so I, we only had one chicken left in it. I called my sister who lives in the country with a cows and chickens and stuff and I'm like what do I do I can't just leave one by itself I feel so bad so she came and called a neighbor and she's like this man gave us three chickens for you they're like his pets they're so sweet and I'm like thank you so much so while she's getting them I go and I like super reinforce the coop and I fix all the holes I can find and just do all the maintenance that should have probably already been done already and I do all that Two days later, I go out there, every single chicken is dead. Missing its head, mind you. Sorry for the gruesome parts. Missing their heads. All of them are dead. And I realized, oh, this was not the dog. There's no way it was the dog. So that's what she was barking at at night, was a raccoon. So we would go out there and I checked all around. I'm like, I don't know how this raccoon got in. I can't find a hole, I can't find anything. And my husband finds the spot in the very corner of the coop and it was lifted up. Um, he like pushed on it and it came up like super easy so I guess the raccoon had like worked on it long enough and pulled it up and got in and kept just killing the chickens and I felt so bad for putting them back in the coop and just like setting them up to die and all I did was eat the head like what what's wrong with an animal like that so here we are starting again learning from our mistakes and that's kind of what you do as someone with animals livestock especially is you can't just give up when something dies um, you learn from it, and you improve from it, and you do better. So I'm so excited for these baby chicks. Not excited that it takes six months to get any eggs, but so that's what happened. You coming with me, buddy? Where are you? Hello. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the wheelbarrow. Wait, Owen, come back. Come back. We have to go get the wheelbarrow. Come on. Come on. All, right. All right. Come on. Say all right, Mama. I come in. I'm Good boy. I love you. Mama. You getting more rocks? Yeah. It's cold. Are y'all cold? What? Get me up. Pick you. Look at me. You want me to pick you up? Yeah. You want to get in the wheelbarrow? Yeah. Okay, just for the ride out there, okay? All right. All right. You holding on? Up, up. Up. Look at the steam. Alright, so it's hard to see, but we finally moved our chickies outside. It's a bad day to choose to do this. It's gloomy, but I finally moved all that mulch. But they're just happy as can be. We've got these bigger food and water containers that hang at the top of the coop. But they're not big enough to drink from those yet so then we've got the sorry 
Got the water container and the food. So we'll see how they do tonight. I think they're happy. I think they're gonna enjoy being outside because they've been cooped up inside for a long time.